Hey, good morning and welcome to Big Stocks. I hope you're keeping well. It's a bit chilly and uh, we're here just hoping at least we can still have conversations that matter. Now, we have new government, county governments as well that come with new policies and one of the beautiful things that has happened here in Nairobi County is to the creative industry, especially the photographers. We shall be uncovering what exactly was announced by the governor when he spoke about waivers for photographers and filmmakers in town spoke about some rules that have been binding them not to be creative as much as they can. So we'll be unpacking that about the Sakaja photography waiver and what it means for business and photography as well. And with me in the house, I have Stephen Omer, who is an amazing photographer, big shot in the house as well, and Otiero Nyandimo as well, who is also the treasurer of the Photographer Association of Kenya and is right here as well as a photographer. They are right here and we shall be having this conversation. Please tell a friend to tell a friend, anybody in the creative industry, that we are having this conversation. But first, Stephen said he likes coffee, so I'm going to give him some coffee. <laughs> Fasting first. Fasting first, eh? So that you're able to give us those gems, man. Is yeah, it? I can. So I just pour the hot water for you? Yeah, yes, And then yes. I'll give you uh, the coffee. I don't know, um, Oti, what are you going to take? <laughs> just coffee. So just, just coffee as well? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> coffee you're not good. a tea guy. I had a lot of tea, man. <laughs> but, but no worries, no worries. Uh, I don't know, are you guys hopeful or are you still feeling a... Uh, not yet. I know we shall get deeper into that, but yeah. let me start with you, Stephen. Are you hopeful? Is there some green light you've seen ahead, or how is the situation? I think, I think in life you can never lose hope, first of all. Never lose hope. Never lose hope. I mean, we've come a long way yeah. as, uh, as creatives, yeah. and I think where we are, mm -hmm. we can't lose hope here. So we I'm can't. really hopeful yeah. uh, for the future ahead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There you go. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to everybody who is already logging in. Guys, uh, please share this out. Let everybody get to know that we're talking about Mata's photography. I might end up getting some good photos from these guys. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's good to have you guys. Let me start with you, Steve. Yeah. Uh, when guys ask, who is that guy? Who do you say you are? <laughs> I'm your guy, my guy. <laughs> 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 Just to break it down, my name is Steve Inouma. I'm a professional a uh, storyteller, photographer, okay. videographer, yeah. and a video producer based in Nairobi, Kenya. Mm -hmm. I've done this for professionally almost seven years now. Yeah. And uh, within my years, I've been able to work with both local and international organizations, yeah. trying to help them shape their stories. Yeah. And I think lastly, because I'm not able to share much here, yeah. I, I, I specialize more on, on documentaries. Yeah. Um, uh, NGO, NGO so world. you also do videography as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So it's, uh, NGO world and, and I think lastly, I was sharing maybe before with you uh, before that uh, I'm also the founder and mm -hmm. uh, creative, di creative director at yeah. Africa Photo Chat. Okay. Of course, I have my company called Steve Noma Photography. Yeah, that's what and I've seen so far. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I'm, I'm also the, I'm, I'm the creative director, the founder there, but I'm also starting something really interesting okay. that I shared with you about that it's called Africa Photo Chat. Yeah. And uh, we, are we are working with Georgina Godwin. Mm -hmm. And what we are doing there is we are trying to shape African stories, okay. uh, African photography stories, okay. and allowing Africans to talk about things that matters to them. to them. You're and, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I like the fact that it's tell the African story, the yeah. African way. I think there's been a conversation about that a lot. We don't yeah, want guys true. coming and telling our story yeah, and then true. they twist it somehow. True, true. true. Let me come to you, T, now. Uh, sorry, I've already baptized you. <laughs> 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 so when guys ask who you are, who do you say you are and what do you do? Yeah. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, my name is Otero Nyadimo. Yeah. Most guys call me OT. OT, yeah? yeah. So I'm right, eh? Yeah. But it's not OTI, it's just OT. Oh, OT. In ah, caps. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'm a photographer. Uh, I do a bit of everything, but specialize in fashion and beauty yeah. and documentary work. Mm -hmm. uh, I also shoot a bit of video. Yeah. Uh, the 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 new photographers now have to be hybrid you have mm -hmm. to know how to shoot video and and photography, and photography as, well. as yeah. well so it's a skill that i've had to yeah. to learn okay. with time yeah yeah, yeah. No, um, right. other than that mm -hmm. um, i'm the treasurer at pak yeah which is the photographers association of kenya mm -hmm. which is the 
uh, an association that embodies all uh, photographers, hobbyists, mm -hmm. and people who deal with photography stuff, basically. Yeah. yeah. So we 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 stand up for the rights of the photographers basically okay okay yeah. that's nice by the way yeah. i hear whenever you are in associations at least you have a better voice even that institution that you talked about as well yeah. together you make more noise now yeah. now let me ask now at least we, we got to know you guys and maybe towards the closing you tell us how we can get in touch with you for anybody who is watching and saying hey i yeah. want to get some snapshots from either of those guys there Sakaji comes and it boldly, we have seen it in the news this week, everybody's talking about it in the creative side and says, hey, what's up? <laughs> waver, <laughs> well, you know, waver. I'm, I'm, you guys are the better people because, but before we speak about that waver, I want to understand what has been the situation before for him to even come and start thinking about waivers. And Stephen, let me start with you. Okay. What has been the story for you to just go in town and do anything? What, has, what does it cost? I'm, I mean, it, it costs a lot of money from 3000 to 6000 Yeah. just to be a photographer in Nairobi. So if, you, if I have to ask you, take me some pictures in the city, you'll have to pay that amount? Yeah, I'll yeah. have to pay six to 3000 <laughs> to take pictures of you. Actually, about 10000 Almost 10000 Wow. About yeah, 10, that's, that's crazy, About 10000 you yeah. know. So, yeah. I mean, for me, I think that's, that's a, that was a bold move. Yeah. Sakaja did. Yeah. But I'm gonna give it two facets. Yes. Okay. If okay. you allow me. Yeah. It's okay. Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna give you a personal experience I've had before. Yeah. You've been arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been personally arrested. I, oh, In town. Oh, you're literally laughing at me. <laughs> For being arrested. No, okay. no, no, no. It's I'm just kidding. To be a photographer in Nairobi and you're not being arrested. arrested. <laughs> you really haven't been baptized yet. Yeah, yeah. So I've been, uh, I've been arrested before. Uh -huh. I've had gun pointed at me oh. because I was taking pictures. Oh. In, a, in fact, I remember when I, it was during my early days in photography. Oh. So I, I, I really loved taking Nairobi sunsets. Yeah. So then I woke up. I, I woke up at 5:30. Yeah. I was in, I was mm -hmm. at Uru Park at 6.30 a.m. So I wanted to take capture the, the ruby sunset with whatever, the flares on, yeah. on that pool, whatever. Yeah. In, in that Kavuru Park place, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, because I always dreamt of that picture, I slept on it, you know, yeah. it kept capturing my eyes. Mm -hmm. So then I went there at 6.30 a.m. just yeah. for the, when the sun was popping up. Yeah. <laughs> then that's how well, some policemen pop in and the boss wake a bag, chini, fungua. Uh, wake up, chini, mkono ju. It it was very horrible for me, just to see my life. You know, I saw my life going terrorist. Man. Yeah, <laughs> just because I was taking a picture. <laughs> you know, so I, I want to say that was a bold move. Yeah. That Sakaja did. Yeah. And I want to laud him for that. Yeah. But that is not what we need. You're right. You're right. Okay. Oh, yeah, we don't need that. You're right. But, I mean, there is. I, I know that's not what you need in terms of mm -hmm. what should be done. Okay. So there's that's more. Gonna, there's, there's more, more that should be done. done. Okay. And I'm not. I'm gonna allow you to ask me those no, questions. I know. Yeah. Let's pause there. <laughs> we shall talk about them more. Let's first of all look. It's a situation analysis. Yeah. What has been the state? Yeah. Oti, let me come to you. Uh, what can you add on top of what is the situation that has been there for this pronouncement? Uh, I think the f the first thing that I'd want to do is just uh, uh, thank the governor. Yeah. Uh, he made promises during his campaign and wow, <laughs> like even one month is yeah. not done, and he's, he's already uh, acting he's on already that. Acting. Yeah. For me, I take it as creatives are being seen. Okay. We are the first agenda yeah. in the Nairobi yeah. governor's uh, uh, things to do, basically. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you know, mostly maybe you'd find he'd maybe try to do things for us mm -hmm. towards the end. Yeah. Or when campaigns are almost again, but he started with that. Yeah. So I take it as a positive that yeah. government is seeing creatives, it's yeah. noticing creatives, mm -hmm. it's considering creatives because yeah. for the longest time mm -hmm. our statistics are never collected. Yeah. And that's why we get left behind. Mm -hmm. If if you were to really analyze mm -hmm. what we bring into the economy, yeah. it's a lot. Wow. It's quite a lot and mm -hmm. for for government to start noticing us mm -hmm. and to start considering us mm -hmm. and doing things for us mm -hmm. to empower us so that we can continue building the nation because that's what we are doing most creatives yeah. have families yeah they support their the families yeah. 
they are paying school fees, mm -hmm. they are providing. So yeah. there's a lot. They are paying taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's not forget they are paying taxes. They are paying taxes yes, as well. They are paying taxes. <laughs> so uh, it's a it's a good move. Okay. It's a good move. I'm I'm really happy about it. I'm mm -hmm. I'm saying I'm gonna say I'm hopeful. Mm -hmm. Like my friend here, yeah, well, I'm, very, I'm very hopeful. Cause Some light coming up. Yes, this is, this is a good move. <laughs> we'll okay. talk about what more needs to be done. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you, have you been arrested yourself or any of your guys? Have you tried to get your guys out? In your uh, the, personally, I've not been arrested. Okay. But I do have a similar story to him mm -hmm. where I also like taking a lot of cityscapes. Yeah. yeah? I like yeah. taking cityscapes. Now, yeah. the best place to take cityscapes, mm -hmm. if you don't have access to a lot of places, is the Uhuru Park viewpoint. You're right. Yeah. So, yeah. for you to get that, yeah. uh, the best time is mostly sunrise. Sunrise mm -hmm. is like, uh, I love sunrises. Yeah. So, I remember there's this one time I wanted to go there. <laughs> and I couldn't sunrise. What about sunrise? Yeah, sunrise. <laughs> <and> sunrise. <laughs> uh, so, I couldn't get a group of guys to go with so yeah. I decided to go by myself. So oh, yeah. I was there by like 5.30. Mm -hmm. I was there by 5.30. Now, yeah. the thing that was going through my mind, mm -hmm. I was there by myself. I had my equipment there. Mm -hmm. So first, if my equipment is stolen, hey. that's, that's a setback. I know. But mm -hmm. the, the other thing that I feared even more than the thugs mm -hmm. was Kanjo. Yeah. You know, like, so <laughs> I'm there. I'm just thinking, oh, boy. Thugs um, are gonna get me, yeah. or Kanjo are going gonna to get, get me. me but well. I wasn't so scared about thugs because I know the Ministry of Health is just behind me. <laughs> so if anything, I could run there. But yes. Kanjo, there's nowhere to run. You know, <laughs> once <laughs> they get you, they they'll get come you. Come to you. Yeah. So it's it's quite an experience. Like every time I look at those photos, yeah, that's what I normally remember. I just remember that feeling of being very anxious. Yeah. Up there by myself. Okay. Yeah. Let me give a shout out to some of the people watching us. Please let us know where you're watching us from and your thoughts about this whole thing. We'll be talking about as you can see uh, on the screens we have uh, from our photographers today uh, some of the amazing works that they are doing uh, their websites are actually running through right now and you can see these are these are pro guys OT we can see they are doing a lot of work on your website they're good stuff man and you, of course Steve as well uh, uh, we, we appreciate the work you guys are doing let me ask by the way before I get now to the other details of Sakaja and what this means do you have a speciality? Um, I had him talk about telling the African story, but I have heard, this is, forgive my ignorance, I've had the people who specialize in certain ways and say, I am this type of photographer, mm. or I specialize in this. I don't know, or are you everything? I don't know, uh, let me start with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say uh, the Kenyan economy has basically shaped how uh, the jobs I do. Yeah. Basically, so it's the like I you yeah, move by yeah, like I said, I do a bit of everything, but yeah, I specialize with a lot of fashion and beauty work mm -hmm. and documentary photography. Oh. Those two, okay. like I've, those are the two things that I do the most. Okay, and those are the two things that I put a lot of energy towards, even while I'm marketing myself. Okay, those are the two things I, I advertise and tell mm. people this is what I do. Okay, yeah. what about you, Steve? I think. Um, Passionate about human interest stories. Okay, human interest stories. Yeah, I, okay. I love the little little things that matter to people. Okay. That everyone will not see. Okay. So that um, I really love a lot, and that's what I shoot a lot. Okay. For corporates and NGOs. Yeah. And I also think my other line of interest um, is actually videography. Now mm -hmm. I, I just love. The motions okay. and and how you connect with stories yeah. through videography. Okay. And while you were asking my question, yeah. uh, if if uh, if guys are specializing yeah. in in one thing or not, yeah. I think where we are, yeah. we, even just in life, yeah. you you grew up in a particular place, mm -hmm. then uh, at a particular level, yeah. you needed to leave that place yeah. so that you can do something else. Very true. So I think in life, uh, personally, yeah. I started out as a photographer. Yeah. Very dope as photographer. Yes. If you allow me to use some words here. <laughs> if you allow me to use some words here. Yeah. But then uh, narratives are changing. Mm -hmm. Stories are changing. Yeah. And not just that, you realize that communication is also changing. You're right. And the elements of telling stories mm -hmm. needs to change. They're also changing, actually. Mm -hmm. We are speaking about, as we speak now, yeah we are realizing there's so many phone cameras popping up yeah. and actually these manufacturers mm -hmm. are just producing cameras. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. 
Um, that's a conversation for another day. Yeah. <laughs> but also over and beyond that, uh -huh. realize the, 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 the new things about telling stories that are popping up. For example, something like podcast. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not something you say uh -huh. that because now I'm a photographer, uh -huh. you cannot learn how to... Uh, you cannot uh, learn how to do, do something else podcasting. The, so podcast. you need to, yeah. in communication, because the, the things we are doing are elements of communications, yeah. we cannot stay in one space and say, right. I can only do this. We Just need be to, comfortable in one area. No, no, no. You no. go home, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, makes sense, makes sense. And just to add on yeah. what he's saying, mm -hmm. uh, I think... Like, like I said, as a photographer now, you have to be hybrid. Mm -hmm. like, other than just doing photography and videography, mm -hmm. you now have to be a communications expert, yeah. basically, because <laughs> that's the value we bring in. Yeah. We, are, we, are, we go out there, we collect stories yeah. in picture form, we have the narrative, because the ones who are on the ground, we mm -hmm. can explain the situation better. Yeah. So if, if, you, if, you, if you can get good at communication, as well. yeah. you'll have more value. Yeah to the people you're working for, basically. Yeah. yeah. Guys, you know, let's get back to this conversation because I'm wondering, okay, so there is a waiver, uh, and of course from your statements, there's more that can be done yeah. because I feel from what you're telling me, there's the Kanjo side of things and there's another side of things. And I'm going to be coming to the conversation of the challenges you guys face uh, mm. as photographers in general. Mm. Uh, is there for anyone who's watching and thinking, I want to get into photography, and I'm happy, I hear there's a waiver. Uh, before they grab a camera and just go to the streets, <laughs> they're taking pictures. Is there something else they need to be careful about? Or is it just the Kanjo thing? Is there any other payment that we're supposed to do? Let me start with you. Um, so, uh, when the waiver was announced, yeah. now, uh, most photographers I've spoken to yeah. didn't know about the the business permit, honestly. <laughs> they have been doing yeah, the yeah, yeah. Mangoto things. Yeah. Eh? You know, uh, <laughs> most Kenyans, most Kenyans, when you ask them about the business permit, yeah. the first thing they're going to ask you is, I don't have a, a premise or mm. a place of business. I don't mm. have a shop. Because yeah. that's what we know. We know business permits are for shops. Yeah. So when the governor came out and said, mm. freelance photographers and freelance filmmakers, yeah. Uh, the business permits have been waived. Yeah, it was news to a lot of people. They didn't know oh, about the <laughs> permit, you know. <laughs> but the good thing is that that waiver mm -hmm. legitimizes how they've been doing business now. Mm. So as much as they haven't been paid, yeah. been paying, uh -huh. uh, the waiver mm. now uh, makes them know that they should pay. They yeah. should at some they point. They, yeah, well. they should have been paying at yeah. some, and and now uh -huh. they are they are within the law now. You know they are okay. within the law because there's a waiver now. You, you know. Yeah. And they, and also begs the bigger question yeah. of definition. Uh -huh. What's a free, who's a freelance photographer? Yeah, that's actually, I wanted you to understand. You know? But Steve, Steven is so. here. And he's, uh, <laughs> as you're talking, he's shaking his head. He's like, what's yeah. up? What, I mean, what is in your I mind? Mean, um, I think, first of all, yeah. if the governor is watching this, I want to laud him for doing that. Good. But let me tell you. It's he, a good step. He, he's a good step. But this guy, uh, Oteno, says yes. that the, the waiver legitimizes the photographer. That the, no, how they've been doing uh, the business. How been the, I mean, I think mm -hmm. the truth is, Yes. The waiver has, uh, the, the, the permit has been there for a long while. Yeah. And uh, the thing that I think probably the governor did not realize uh -huh. is even today, uh -huh. if I want to go and shoot in the streets, yeah. I'll wake up at, we, we've understood <laughs> how, we've understood how Kanjo's work, yes. you know. Yeah. I'll be in town, and I, I won't say this because it's, <laughs> so not, so they don't say, it's been covering us. <laughs> don't say the time. <laughs> yeah, but now there's a waiver anyway. Yeah. And I'll wake up at, at, at 6 uh -huh. and at 7 a.m. If I'm yeah. in town at 7 a.m., yeah. by around 9, yeah. I'll be done. You're done. With shoot, I won't pay anyone a dime. Yeah. I'll go home. With <laughs> Kanjo or without Kanjo. <laughs> you know, so the waiver yeah. has been there. Of mm -hmm. course, there are some people. Yeah. Who has been arrested? And, and, and now let me delve into this story now because yeah. I want to go straight into it. Yes, go. This is not the first time. Yes. Uh, the governor yeah. of Nairobi, yes. a sitting governor, yeah. uh, giving going going. Uh, the, sorry, to, uh, I want to put it straight. Yeah. Uh, I want to do it. Say it respectfully, <laughs> rather. Say it in a nice way. Yes. In a nice way. <laughs> 
this is not the first time yeah. the governor of Nairobi, yeah. the sitting governor, yeah. has gone ahead and said, uh, uh, no, that photographers are allowed to shoot in Nairobi for, for free. Oh, it has been said before. In, I, I was doing some, some back, background research here, yeah. Yeah. and I think on 15th, uh -huh. August 2017, uh -huh. Sonko went true, true. and said the same thing oh, yeah. on Twitter. Uh -huh. This one was even better to say in public. But so, nothing was done. I mean, that was said, and then was it implemented? No. Do you understand? Yeah. Was it, when Sakaja comes back, he's a sitting governor now. Yes, yes. He comes back and they says the same thing. Says the same thing. You know? Yeah. What's the implementation plan? Uh -huh. yeah. You know, we need to ask this hard question, and I'm going to ask them. Yeah. Because I'm supposed to. What's the impl implementation plan yeah. that Sakaja has for uh -huh. this? Because this is not the first time. You're right. And another thing that I think we need to, to come in terms with yeah. is uh, when Sonko said so, mm -hmm. and I think Larry Mad is Larry, Mad uh, Larry Asego tweeted yeah. uh -huh. when he was still at Classic, I think. Yeah. And Sonko replied and said, under my leadership, photographers will be allowed yeah. to shoot for free in Nairobi Street. Uh -huh. After that, yeah. uh, there was still some harassment. Or photographers. Or photographers. Yeah. And this is why Sakaja comes back and says, says this, is, this thing is still ongoing. And, you know, this, that comes and does the same thing Sonko did mm. five years ago. So mm. what's the difference? What's, what's, what's Sakaja bringing new to the table to no. creatives? No, no, I think, I think what you're saying, Stephen, mm. if, if, if I get you right, that yes, it's a pronouncement, we have seen it. I think he, he even did it somewhere outside. Nicely, nice pronouncement. Everybody was, <laughs> was applauding. Yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> but where is, at maybe when, when things happen in this country, we see gazette notices, stuff like that. Where is that law that has been agreed on and passed? Or is there something that needs to go through the county assembly so at least photographers can be confident that yes, I am okay to walk by. Still. I think, I, I, sorry, I, I'm it's stepping okay. on no, no, because, no, no. because I think in any in 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 joke. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think yeah. uh, uh, the governor the himself is a creative. Yeah. Yes. Sakaji is a creative. He's a creative. Yes, yes. He knows what it he means. He plays bass and all that even. He yeah. knows. Yeah. You know, even in this campaign team, yeah. he has creatives. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So you understand the value that photography does. Yeah. yeah. Not just photography, the entire creative industry. Absolutely. You know. Mm. So for him mm -hmm. to go on a roadside, mm -hmm. on a road declaration, mm -hmm. that did not sound well with me. Okay. Mm. And I think this is why I also want now to mm -hmm. probably uh, engage my partner, my yeah. friend here yeah. from Park. Yeah. Because this is a body yeah. that that uh, is Photographer Association of, course, of okay. Kenya. Yeah. For people who don't know. Yeah. But did even Park issue a statement? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm on here. That's very good. Yeah, yeah these, these are your guys these, now. Yeah. Yeah, guys I'm, not, I'm not in yeah. Park, unfortunately. Yeah. I went on. Kenley joined. I left. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Kenley joined. Kenley joined, <laughs> joined back. <laughs> now, the thing is, yes. <laughs> some consultations. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because this is a profession. You cannot go. I was telling a friend of 